Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Tiger Sports Nation. I'm Taylor Richardson. And I'm Jack Crane. Before we get into the sporting events that happened this past week, be sure to follow D3TV on all of our social media platforms so you don't miss any new episodes. And please leave a like and share the video with a friend if you enjoyed. On Thursday, the men's golf team traveled to Delaware, Ohio with a matchup against Ohio Wesleyan. Brooks Coates and Danny Paris each shot a 78 to lead DePaul. However, Owu posted the top four rounds of the day and topped the Tigers by a score of 300 to 324. The Tigers were back in action over the weekend when they shot a 614 and won the Great Lakes Invitational over Franklin. Kinder Jones paced the Tigers with a fifth place finish after shooting a 150 on the weekend. The DePaul women's golf team traveled to Harrison, Ohio to compete in the Miami Whitewater Classic, hosted by Mount St. Joseph University. The Tigers paced by Tarina Samir Kakar, who tied for second after shooting a 164, finished three strokes behind Rose Holman after posting a total of 674. The Tigers will be back in action on April 2nd and 3rd at Earlham's Quaker Invitational. The outdoor track and field teams were at home for their meet this weekend in the DePaul quad number one. The men's team finished third with a total of 124.5 points. Michael Okasik finished first in the 800 meter and the 1,500 meter with times of 158.28 and three minutes and 57 seconds respectively while Bailey Scott won the 3,000 meters steeplechase with a time of 9 minutes and 38 seconds. The women's team tied for second place with Rose Holman with a total of 160 points. Rachel Delancey won the 800 meters and the 1,500 meters with times of 2 minutes and 28 seconds and 4 minutes and 57 seconds, respectively. The Tigers also had runner-up finishes in 10 other events. The number seven ranked DePaul softball team hosted a double header this, this weekend with Anderson. The Tigers swept their home opener with victories of 9-2 and 8-0 to move to 16-1 on the season. In game one, DePaul totaled 10 hits led by Becca St. Germain with three and Jade Mehiowick with two. Cammie Henry picked up the win moving to 10-0 on the season after pitching three and one-third innings of hitless relief. In game two, the Tigers tallied 13 hits led by Grace Smith with three and four other players with, a, with two apiece. Kirsten Brayton picked up the win, moving her record to 3-0 on the season. Now, before we get into the rest of the sports news for DePaul Athletics, we are starting a new segment on the show called Senior Spotlight, where we will sit down with one of DePaul's senior athletes to get to know them more outside their sports realm. Our special guest for this new segment is senior basketball player Ken Decker. Not only did Ken and the men's basketball team destroy their competition on the court, Decker has been doing exceptionally well off the court and is planning on going to law school at the University of Kentucky after DePaul. I got to sit down with Ken and ask him some interesting questions for our first segment of Senior Spotlight. If you could be in a part of any movie, what would it be? Play a part in any movie? Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be, I would be specifically the Sean Connery James Bond has to be like that era of film because Sean Connery was the most perfect demonstration of James Bond. And that is one of my, in my opinion, the golden era of that genre and that film. So Sean Connery, James Bond has to be. Yeah, I totally agree. Sean Connery, like it's literally perfection. Like you just can't get anything better than that. But then next question. So what is your NBA comparison? Like who do you compare yourself to in the NBA? Um, Doug McDermott. There you go. Of the Indiana Pacers, I would say. You know, I am pretty slow. My job is to kind of just shoot threes. And when I get my feet open, when I get my feet set, when I get an open look, I usually make them. And there you go. And that's all you got to do. So then what, would, what superpower would you have if you could choose? Superpower would be invisibility. Uh, I, it's got to be invisibility just because uh, there are so many times where I'll be talking to somebody and you just want to find a way to just get out of the situation. Not that I don't have any, not that I, dis, not that I don't enjoy conversations with people, but invisibility, find your way around a little more, maybe get into a little more trouble here and there, sneak around a little bit. What is the most embarrassing thing you're willing to admit uh, on TV or like on, with the record button on? 
The most embarrassing thing that I'm willing to admit. Oh, geez, oh, peas. I guess I'm not sure if this is embarrassing necessarily, but I have an incredible affinity for like cats. Like, I don't know if that's necessarily embarrassing, but I'm like obsessed with cats and like kittens and like really cute furry cats. Like if you really? get, like if you put a cat like in my presence, I will probably not pay attention to anything else that's going on around me. It would be really? unequivocally full on devotion to the cat. And maybe that's not an embarrassment, but it's certainly the truth. Thank you, Ken, for joining us in the D3 TV studio and good luck on your future endeavors. The baseball team traveled to Naperville, Illinois on Saturday for their game against North Central College. The Tigers dropped to 7-7 seven and seven on the season after losing to the host Cardinals by a score of 5-1. to one. Charlie Patrick led the DePaul offense with two hits and accounted for their only run in a solo, in a solo home run in the fourth. And the Tigers will be back at home Friday to open up their conference play with a doubleheader against Wabash. The DePaul men's soccer team had two games this weekend, hosting Wittenberg on Saturday, then playing the role of visitors against the rival Tigers on Sunday. In the first game, DePaul trailed 1-0 at halftime, but were able to even it up in the second half on a goal by my high school buddy, Jack Schrefferman, in the 63rd minute, and ultimately came out on top with an overtime goal by Eddie Velez to win the game 2-1. The Tigers completed the weekend sweep on Sunday after beating Wittenberg by a score of 4-1. The Tigers were led by Eddie Velez, who again, who again scored twice. DePaul also received a goal from freshman Sam Thiel. The stifling DePaul defense also forced Wittenberg into an own goal in the 69th minute to cap off the scoring. Great job to them. The DePaul women's soccer team fell to Indiana Wesleyan on Saturday by a score of 1-0 despite three saves from goalie Emma St. John. This loss dropped the Tigers to 0-1-2 on the year. DePaul will be back on the road next Saturday at 2 p.m. against Marion. On Thursday, the DePaul men's tennis team got their first win of the season after beating Rose Holman at home by a score of 7-2. On Saturday, the Tigers were back on the road as they fell to number 27, Denison, 9-0. The DePaul women's tennis team matched up with number 19, Wash U, at home on Sunday and fell to the visiting Bears by a score of 9-0. The Tigers will be back in action on Wednesday against Indiana Wesleyan. The DePaul women's lacrosse team improved 4-2 on the season after beating Owu in Ohio. The Tigers stormed out to a 14-2 lead in the first half and wasted no time adding on when Emma Kennedy scored her first of two goals in the first two minutes of the second half, ultimately crushing to a 19-5 victory over the battling Bishops. The Tigers will hit the road again on Saturday as they travel to Wooster for a 4 p.m. game. The DePaul volleyball team fell to 0-3 after dropping their road matchup against Wittenberg in four sets. DePaul did win a tightly contested set by a score of 26 to 24, but dropped the next three sets to ultimately lose the match. The Tigers will be back in action on Saturday against Illinois College at home. And that will wrap up things on this episode of Tiger Sports Nation. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, and leave a comment, if, you know, if you feel inclined, down below. I'm Jack Crane. And I'm Taylor Richardson. And as always, Roll, roll Tigs! tigs.